If you want to learn how to create an appointment booking website, then this video is for you. Today, I'll run you through a super simple step-by-step -step guide as a beginner to get set up with your website and how to create a system to book appointments. Make sure to follow along with me as I show you the exact steps to take because I'm going to show you guys how to get a website set up for an extremely affordable price. And I'm also going to give you guys a special coupon code where you guys can get an even greater discount. So yeah, this is going to be a very easy tutorial. You don't need to have any web design experience and you also don't need to know how to code. With all that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, the very first step to setting up your website is to get a domain name and web hosting. There are many different platforms out there, but the one that we recommend is Hostinger. Very soon, you guys are going to see how easy it is to use and also how affordable it is for beginners. So make sure to click on the link down below where you guys can follow along with me as I show you the steps. So here I am on Hostinger's website. As you guys can see, you can get started for under $3 per month, and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you guys don't like it for whatever reason, you can always just get your money back. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click on claim deal right here. And that's going to ask me to choose a plan. So they have three different plans, the premium business and cloud startup. For most beginners, the premium plan is totally fine. This is also the cheapest. So if you guys want increased performance or more storage or just more features for like an e-commerce website, then you guys can choose something like the business or the cloud startup plans. But yeah, let me just quickly go over the basic features. So you get access to a hundred different websites. So yes, you heard me correctly. You can create up to a hundred different websites on just this one basic plan. You also have 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, weekly backups, unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free professional email address that comes with your website, and a free domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one to my cart. And from there, they're going to ask me to choose a time period. So the only one that I don't recommend is getting the one month plan because it's a lot more expensive. I recommend getting the 12 months plan, 24 months, or the 48 months plan. And obviously, the longer that you lock in, the cheaper it's going to be, as well as the renewal plans, they're also going to be cheaper. For this example, I'll show you guys what it would look like if you chose the one year plan. Scrolling down, you guys can create your account right here. So just enter your email address and password. And down here, before you guys enter in your information, go ahead and click on this button right here where it asks you if you have a coupon code and go ahead and type in our special code, my first website. Once you guys click on apply, it's going to give you an even greater discount. So you guys can see right here that I'm getting one year's worth of web hosting for just $34 and 45 cents. You guys, that is an absolutely insane deal. And for most beginners, that is very affordable. And again, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's pretty much a no brainer for beginners. You really have nothing to lose. And from there, you basically just enter in the rest of your information and then click on submit secure payment. Now from there, once you guys have logged into your hosting account, you guys are going to see a page like this, except it's going to look a little bit different. You're probably going to see the hosting plan that you have. So whether you got the premium, the business or the cloud startup, it's going to show up right here. And then on the right hand side, it should show up with a button that says setup. Just go ahead and click on that setup button and it's going to run you through their guided setup. From there, it's going to look something like this. So you're going to have the option to create a new website or migrate one. So if you're coming from another platform and you want to migrate it to Hostinger, you guys can choose this option. For this example, we're creating a new website. So we'll click on this. Then they're going to ask you if you want to choose WordPress or Hostinger's builder with AI. I'll go ahead and choose WordPress. This is one of the most popular website builders out there. It's super customizable and there's tons of tutorials out there. So I highly recommend going with this one if you want a more customized experience. But if you guys want to use Hostinger's builder with AI, then we also have other videos on this channel that can teach you how to do that. So I'll go ahead and select WordPress right here. And now they're going to ask me to create my login details for my WordPress account. So just enter in an email that you want to use as well as a password. From there, they're going to ask you if you want to add any plugins to your website. For now, I'll just click on skip. They're also going to ask you what look do you prefer. So this is one of the themes. You guys can install these if you want. I'll click on skip. And from there, you could choose your domain name. So you guys should see an option that gives you your free domain name that comes with your plan. And you also have the option to use an existing domain if you already previously purchased it through another provider. Because I already used up all my free domains, I'll just choose one later. But yeah, from there, it's going to build out your WordPress dashboard. So just let this run. It shouldn't take longer than a few minutes. Okay, cool. So once that is done, we can go ahead and edit our website right here by going to our WordPress admin panel. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And now here I am on my WordPress dashboard. Now I'm not going to go too much in detail on how to build out a WordPress website. We have other videos on this channel that can teach you that, but I'm just going to go over some of the basics on how to get set up. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is go to plugins right here and click on add new plugin. These are basically just apps that will install onto your WordPress dashboard and they can help with a bunch of different things. But for now, we're going to go ahead and install a plugin called starter templates. And this is going to allow us to easily build out a professional looking landing page within a few minutes. So I'll go right here to the upper right hand corner and search up starter templates. And as you guys can see, it is right here. It's made by brainstorm force. I'll go ahead and install this right now. And then I will also click on activate. Once that is done, it's going to take me to the setup process. So if I want to use the classic starter templates or the AI website builder, I can choose whichever one I want. For this example, I'll show you guys how to use their classic starter templates. So as you guys can see, they have a bunch of really professional looking templates 
templates that you guys can choose from. All of these are pre-made, so you just have to load them into your website. So this is why I said in the beginning, you don't need any coding experience or web design experience because you can easily just choose a template from here. You guys can also browse through all the different categories right here at the top. And so let's say that we wanna create a photography website, right? Let's say we wanna book appointments for our photography services. We'll go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna show us a bunch of different templates for photography websites. So if I see one that I like, I can go ahead and choose it. And again, these are just examples. You're probably gonna change all the text and the images. But as far as the design goes, all of these are very, very professional. So let's say that we like this one. We can go ahead and click on this. And now it's gonna load up a preview on what the website looks like. So from here, we can go ahead and upload our logo. If you don't have it, you could just upload it later. So for now, I'll just click on skip. You can also change the colors. So if I want, I can change it to this color right here. As you guys can see, it changes it in real time. So I'll go ahead and just go with the default colors for now. I can also change the fonts if I want. And the last thing that they'll ask you to do is just enter in some information and then click on submit and build my website. Okay, cool. So now it is done. You guys can see it took just 19 seconds to build the website. Now I can click on this right here to view the website. And now here it is, you know, it looks very professional. All I have to do is just change up some of the text and some of the images. But other than that, very, very professional looking website. Now, another plugin that I recommend downloading is Elementor. So I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard and click on plugins right here and click on add new plugin. And then I'm going to go ahead and search for Elementor. So I'll go ahead and install this one. And now I'm also going to activate it. And so now that Elementor is installed and activated, I can go back to my website right here and click on edit page. And so now it's going to take me to the WordPress block editor. It's totally fine to use the WordPress block editor, but it is a little bit hard for beginners to use. So I'll just go ahead and click on edit with Elementor right here. And so now I'm at the Elementor editor. This is much more beginner friendly to use. So everything here is click and drag. So let's say I want to click on this. I can edit any of the text right here. And yeah, again, I'm not going to go too much in detail on how to actually build out your website. We have other videos on this channel that can teach you that. So now is the part where I show you how to build out your system to book appointments. And the platform that we're going to be using is Calendly. So Calendly is a totally free software that you guys can use. They do have some paid plans, but for this example, I'll show you guys how to do it with the free plan. Once you guys have created an account, your dashboard should look something like this. And from here, all I have to do is just create an event. So I'll go ahead and click on create right here and then an event type. And from here, you guys can choose whatever makes sense for you. Let's say that I want to do a one on one meeting. So I'll click on this here. I can input my event name, duration and location, and I can change all the different settings on here. I'm not going to go over it too much. It's really self explanatory. So go ahead and create your guys own event type. And once you guys are done and you go back to your homepage, it should look something like this. Now from here, what you guys are going to want to do is click on share right here. And then you're going to have a couple of different options. So you can share a link, you can add times to email, or what you want to do is you want to go to add to website. So there's a few different ways that you guys can add Calendly to your website. Let's say that we want to do an inline embed. So this is going to add the scheduling page to your site. So I'll go ahead and choose that and then click on continue. And now it's going to give me some code that I can paste onto my website. So I'll go ahead and copy this code right here. I'll go back to my website and I'll go ahead and type in code. So here it is right here, short code. I can go ahead and let's say we want to put it at the bottom right here. We'll go ahead and click on the plus button right here to add another section. Let's choose Flexbox and then select this one. Doesn't really matter too much. We'll go back here and then search up for code right here. Short code. Here it is. We'll go ahead and drag this onto the page. And then now is where we paste in our short code. So I'll go ahead and paste it and then click on apply. And now, as you guys can see, the short code is right there. And now we have our Calendly. So if I go ahead and go to update right here, I can now view the website. So let's go back. And now you guys can see that if I scroll all the way down, you guys can see that this is the Calendly link from here. They can schedule. So let's say they want to book for tomorrow at a specific time. They can choose anything. And yeah, all of the appointments are going to be booked through Calendly. And that's pretty much it for how to create an appointment booking website for beginners. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And again, we'll leave a link down below to Hostinger where you guys can get started at a very affordable price. Don't forget to use our discount code, my first website. And also feel free to check out our website down below where we offer a free service to help you get set up with your first website. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of videos like this that help you start and grow your first website. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.